I basically got through a bad period after the Olympics and I did the really bad self-harm. Um, you know, I, I, I'd had enough of how I felt and, and I caught myself really bad and ended up in hospital. And I think um, after that, I worked for a few months getting myself better and I rushed it and then I and then like a couple of months later I thought you know what I don't want anyone else to end up in the position I was in I could have been one of the unlucky ones that did take it that bit too far and didn't make it through and the thought of that happening to people regularly is horrible and I just feel like by sharing how I deal with it and the fact that someone that's in the spotlight has felt this stuff you know I, 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 I do feel the same things and I go through the same things it makes it more normal you know I think people watch us on tv and they think that and some people you know like some people are just monsters and they they don't feel much but there is the majority of us are feeling the same way that you're feeling we're not robots and, <laughs> and uh, I think it's important to share that message with people Firstly, it's not a weakness. You're, tr you're suffering trauma. There's things going on in your body that your, your brain's not functioning right, and it's in, it can be fixed. And then secondly, yes, yeah, speak about it, you know. Speak to anyone. It's scary, I understand that. It's so scary. Like, I did not want to speak to anybody. Um, it's not just through weakness. You're just, you just don't, you feel like you're not normal. You feel like you're a problem to everyone. Um, but my life in the last year and a half since has turned around massively. So, um, yeah, you, you need to be open and get the help you need.